All right, thank you, everyone. Now, if you've been he coming here for a while, you've seen my act. You know, I like to go old school with some of my routines. And I'm not even doing that tonight. I'm going to be working with something a little old-fashioned, something that some people would call an antique, maybe even a relic in this modern era. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who reads the paper anymore? You know, why spend money knowing what's going on in your city, in your country, around the world, learning about all the important social and government issues, when you can just get your news online for free and learn those 10 secrets about how to burn body fat that doctors don't want you to know. <laughs> Spoilers, number four will shock you. <laughs> no, no. One of the big acts for mentalists and magicians uh, in the 30s onward was headline predictions, where they would predict what had a, where they would have a prediction sealed weeks in advance that would reveal what the headline for that day's paper would be. Really, there's no point in doing that now because the headline every day is just so depressing yeah. that if someone could really predict it, you would be going up to their face asking, why didn't you warn us? This could have all been avoided. <laughs> I didn't need to know what card I picked. I needed to know that a plague was coming. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little something different. I'm not going to bother to try predicting the headlines, but something a little more lighthearted. Now, for those of you who can't see, this is the Philadelphia Inquirer. And do you know why I chose this paper? Why? Because it's got the best comic section in Pennsylvania. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only reason to get the, pa to get the paper now, the comics. Anyone like the comics? Woo! Yeah. Regular comics reader? Yeah. yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's so good. I mean, yeah, you don't get the same variety that you get in uh, online with web comics, but uh, you still see some creative work buried among a bunch of strips that have been around since the Great Depression. <laughs> and if you read some of them, but you think that the writers were still li still thought they were li still think they're living in the Great Depression. <laughs> So I'm going to need a little help from a comic fan here. Who would like to participate? Oh, James, come on up. We don't have Gibby, so... Yeah, yeah really. All right. Right, Gibby, take us in here. <coughs> yeah. James, you're a comic fan? Yeah, I like reading yeah. them. What are your favorite strips? Uh, primarily Garfield, Sunday Paper, uh, Dilbert, when it's there. Cool. Good job. All good choices. Now, before we get started, um, I want to you know, hold on to this. This is the prediction part of the newspaper prediction. All right. Put that in your pocket. Make sure I can't get to it. Make sure I can't alter it in any way. <laughs> and now we just got to have, now we're just going to have a little fun. Crossword puzzle. <laughs> okay, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Let's just say 60 down is owed. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, that all mixed up nicely. Now, let's take this marker here. All right. All right. Now, what you're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna basically like deal through the piece of the scraps of paper. All right. And when you say stop, we're gonna use whatever piece is on the bottom, and you are going to just like mark a little X next to it. But just so you, I'm not in, trying to influence you, we're gonna do it without you seeing it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna start moving them up. Just tell me when to stop. Okay. Stop. Do you want me to go one more? No. Okay. <laughs> now, without looking, just move the marker under here. No, without looking. All right. And just mark an X, okay? Okay. Okay, good. So, perfect. And let's see uh, what you picked. You picked, uh... All right, looks like you uh, ended up... Looks like you ended up with Heart of the City. Good comic. Okay. Changed to artists and writers a while back, but still quite enjoyable. Now, I want you to hold on to this. Now, I'll tell you what, just so no one thinks I'm trying anything sneaky, you know, that I'm not trying to slip you a different piece or anything, you want to just take that marker and just want to sign it, initial it, whatever? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Anywhere? Anywhere. Anywhere's fine. 
All right. All right, perfect. I'll take it back. Now, I want you to open. Now, it's signed, it's initialed, you know that's yours. Yep. I want you to open it up and I want you to read what the punchline in the last uh, in the last panel is. Uh, same but I won't say no to fifty dollars. Literally already shopping. Okay. Now, please open your uh, open your open that paper. Open that envelope, which I have not touched. It's sick, which I have not touched since I gave it to you. And inside, there's a little prediction written on it. Can you read what that prediction says? I won't say no to fifty dollars. <laughs> 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 Hey, when you read the when you read enough comics, the punchline has become predictable. Thank you so much, James. Yeah. You can keep this as a souvenir, and thank you, everyone. Thank you.